Hi guys, quick requested video showing someone how to uh, make a square bend. They wanted 5 8 square but I don't have any so I'm going to have to do it in half inch. We're going to use the side and the face for this and you want the square edge further down the anvil. And you want a shortish heat, this is a little bit too long, it could have been a bit shorter but uh, we'll make do. You want to basically start off making your bend. Now I'm doing this over the fairly rounded edge at the, the front end of the anvil which doesn't matter to start with. It looks a bit messy to start but it'll soon come to, into shape. <clears throat> this isn't the only way of doing this but it's my preferred method. Um, now I'm working on the square edge further down the anvil so that I get a nice square inside bend. Now you see I'm hitting on the top, working the material back into the bend, doing it from both sides so that you're working the material back into that bend because all the time you're hitting it you're making it thinner so you've got to keep pushing the metal back into the, to the corner. You see why I'm hitting it on the top. So keep it straight, bash it back into the the corner. You don't want to, again too long a heat here otherwise you'll end up with a great big fat bit of metal um, but you have to keep a balance because all the time you're working it you're thinning it so you've got to work it back in and back out again so you're pushing it back into the corner then straighten it out back into the corner from the other way straighten it out again all the time keeping it the same width in all directions. Push it back in again. Straighten it out. And as I say, you have to be careful because you, you will end up with a thin bit of metal if you're not careful. And you see, we're getting there. Still needs a little bit more in that, that corner. But that's taken, what, a couple of minutes. Um, so it doesn't take long. You can see I've cooled that out, but knocking it back into the corner again. Back into the corner. You can cool it out in either water bosch or just tip a bit of water over it as you bring it out the fire. Just so you've got a nice short heat. So that when you bang it back into the corner, it uh, stays fairly straight. If you have too long a heat, you'll end up with it bending all over the place. You can see even with a short heat it goes pretty wobbly. Okay we're getting there. Again that's only a, a few minutes work. Back down into the corner. Level it out both directions. Now, I'm not actually hitting it very square here um, I needed to be leaning over the anvil a little bit more. But you get the idea. You want to use, yeah, not that end, but that end. So that you keep the inside edge fairly square. You need to obviously have a nice square edge on your anvil. I don't do much square forging. Um, if I want a square edge I generally cut and weld it, but you can see the general principle. It's nice to know how to do it, if you ever do. Alright, I've cooled that out and you can see it still needs a little bit more work to the very far edge, but the inside corner is quite square and it's remained basically the same thickness we've kept to our half inch, it just needs a little bit more there but that could be done in a, a few more hits downwards. So that's basically how I do it. And so it's not probably not the best method and not the only method but that's the one I like. The other method I'll quickly go through, I'm not going to show you but I'll just describe it, is to actually jump the metal up. So in your bend you heat it, quite short heat and bang it on the anvil or bang it from above or jump it up and down, it's called upsetting and it, it 
increases the thickness in both directions. Um, but you need a short heat, otherwise it will go all over the place. Then you start your bend, and then obviously you've got much more meat to play with. Some people prefer doing it that way, but uh, as I say, I like this way. So I hope that's helped. Um, have a go. See how you get on. Thanks for watching.